few more speakers, and Isaac is, is going to bring on our, our next speaker. I just wanted to first, I want to thank Isaac uh, Silverman for pulling this together. He's done a great job. Yeah. And it's important that we really take everything into consideration that the short-term payoffs don't lead to long-term detrimental loss. And so it's really important that we all continue to be empowered, to continue to raise questions, to get involved. And so Isaac will explain to you how you can do that. And I would also like to thank you for allowing me to share this space with you. And I will now bring up Isaac, who will introduce our last speaker. And then Isaac will tell everyone how they can get involved. Thank you. Yeah. I'm extremely proud to have Leo Webb as my representative on the same council. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so we're going to be, there are a few things going on. We have some clipboards. People are going to be wandering around with them. But uh, I'm happy to introduce right now, I'm happy and honored to introduce Dr. Sandra Steingraber. She's an author. She's an author and biologist and on the Ithaca College faculty. She won the Heinz Award in 2011 for her research on environmental health and donated $100,000 to fight fracking in New York State. Thus yeah. becoming... Yeah. Yeah. becoming a co-founder of the coalition, New Yorkers Against Fracking. Fracking. 
shocking and it is ethically indefensible to allow developmental toxic substances into the environment of children. And I stand ready to do my duty as a scientist to stop it. program 
them yet, which if I can get my work done this weekend, will happen very soon. And we hope to take that 5,000 to 50,000. And just for reference, I was like number three in the booming voice category. Thank you. I'll read the preamble. So we're going to do the pledge Occupy style. Um, and I'll read the preamble so you can kind of give a flavor of it. You can just listen to this piece and then uh, uh, Isaac here is going to swear again. We believe that high volume horizontal hydraulic fracking is an accident prone, inherently dangerous industrial process with risks that include catastrophic and irremediable environmental damage. And these risks cannot be properly resolved, nor can they be mitigated through regulation. We believe that Governor Cuomo and this agency, the Department of Environmental Conservation, has repeatedly turned a deaf ear to the petition of New York scientists, economists, medical professionals, and ordinary citizens. We believe that it is wrong to shatter the bedrock of New York State and inject it with toxic chemicals. And here comes the heads. And for this part, if you are so moved, but feel free to put your fist in the air. As I tell my human anatomy students, a fist is the size of a human heart. So this represents our love, our courage, and our spirit of resistance. Take it, Isaac. If Governor Cuomo, if if Governor Cuomo, Governor Cuomo permits high volume, permits Horizontal, horizontal, hydraulic fracking, hydraulic fracking, in any part of New York, in any part of New York, I pledge, I pledge, to join with others, to join with others, to engage, to engage, in non-violent, in non-violent, acts of protest, acts of protest, Including demonstrations, including demonstrations, and other nonviolent actions, and other nonviolent actions, as my conscience needs me, as my conscience needs me, I make this pledge, I make this pledge, in order, in order, to prevent, to prevent the destruction, the destruction, and poisoning, and poisoning of New York's, of New York's. Water, water, air, air, and food systems, and food systems, on which, on which, life, life, health, health, and economic prosperity, and economic prosperity, all depend, all depend, including, including that of future generations, that of future generations.